Hello everybody and welcome to how to make cowl, which is a traditional Welsh lamb dish, which is like a Welsh broth, a lamb broth, and it's made with this beautiful lamb neck, which we're going to season with salt and pepper on the board, and then we're going to add it to the cold pans on the stove. Now I've got three because I haven't got a massive stock pot with me as I'm away from uh, home at the minute. But let me show you what it looks so like. Just salt and peppered my lamb, keeping it really nice and simple. And then I'm going to just start adding it into the pots and getting it covered. And I'm spacing mine out quite um, quite well. I'm just going to take some more water here. I don't want it to boil. I've got to be going into cold water. My trusty assistant is filling it up. I'm going to just add it piece by piece into into the pot. Now you will need this amount of liquid because the stock is what makes this. It's like a, a, a lamb soup almost. Um, it's, it's what makes it really, really special. So yeah, you definitely need this much liquid. If you've got a big, huge stock pot um, or an old type pressure cooker, that would be just as good. Um, so yeah, uh, please use larger pots if you've got them. Okay, I'm gonna use that into the big pan. Okay, so as your lamb is coming to the boil, which shouldn't take very long in these little pans, it'll take a little bit longer in a bigger pan, you'll see a scum starting to form on the um, surface. Now what you wanna do is you wanna get um, a slatted spoon and you wanna try and take that off as you see it and just discard it not over the cooker as I've just done, but into the sink. You don't want any of the scum at all. Now, as they all come to the boil, I'm gonna put them onto the lowest setting possible. And I'm going to uh, cook my lamb for a good hour, maybe even longer. Um, I, re I really want it low and slow. Your lamb should be on the lowest possible setting. Now, if you uh, haven't got um, a pan like this, but you've got a slow cooker, that is an option. I haven't tried it in a slow cooker yet, but you can do this. Again, it does retain all the juices nicely, but you've got to remember the next stages after you've cooked the lamb are the most important, which you can still do in the slow cooker. Um, and it may well uh, enhance the taste even more. I know uh, lots of people use slow cookers now. Um, I haven't made cowl in it, but I've made lots of things in a slow cooker. So I know that it's great for keeping in that fabulous flavour. Okay, so my lamb has been cooking now for nearly two hours. And you can see from where the scum of the original liquid is on the pan, how much they've reduced down. It's a, a couple of centimetres at most. If you have a big stock pot, you'll probably only lose a small amount. So I probably lost a little bit more liquid than you would if you're using a larger pot, but that's okay. I accounted for that by adding quite a lot of liquid in. Now I'm gonna remove the lamb and all the bones and I'm gonna set the lamb aside to cool down and cover it. And when it's um, gone cold, I will put it in the fridge. Then I'm going to leave the liquid stay um, cool and when that's gone cold it'll go into the fridge for a couple of hours or overnight ideally. Okay so now you can see I've chopped up the lamb into little pieces taking it off the bone and I've removed as much of the fat as I can see and all of the gristle, discarded the bones and the gristle and the fat uh, to be thrown out. We've used all the stock that we're going to use now that's going to be in these clear liquids which will then cook the veg in later. You can see that when you have let your stock go really cold, a hard fat will have formed on the top of it and gone white. You need to remove this all out of the pans and then you'll be left with just the liquid in each of them. Okay, so I've cleared the fat from inside the pans um, I've done the best I can. The little bits that are left are really, really, really small. And next, you want to chop up the veg. So I've peeled and quartered the potatoes and I've cut the 
carrots into um, large chunks. Next, I'm going to cut the leeks. So you wanna cut the leek up into small slices and then you wanna add them in to the pans and make sure it's all submerged. So you've got in the pan, you've got the stock you made from the lamb and the lamb bones, the potatoes peeled and cut up, the carrot, I haven't peeled the carrots, I've just topped and tailed them, cut them into nice big pieces, not too big, mouth, mouthful is plenty, and then the leeks sliced up. Now, as you know, I'm using three pots because I haven't got a big enough pot, and I've got a lot of ingredients there. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I've put it on to heat. Now, the stock was cold, so it'll take some time coming up to boil, and then once it reaches boiling point, you want to simmer it for about an hour. You wanna keep it going. It is gonna reduce again, but if you can put a lid on to stop the reduction too much, that would be really, really helpful. See you in an hour. Once your veg is cooked, you can then transfer all the veg and the stock together with the lamb pieces into one large um, container. And then what I do then is let it go cold and then put it in the fridge overnight and then cook it the next day and it absorbs all the flavours together. And I eat it with lots and lots and lots of bread and butter and it is absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoy.